Frisco, some of us are letting ourselves be distracted by the silliness, the soap operas and the shiny, low-hanging objects. That's the only explanation I have for why Dallas Cowboys coach Jason Garrett's session with the media this week at the NFL owners' meetings in Arizona demonstrated an obsession with all the Cowboys who aren't. Who aren't Cowboys, that is. Oh, obviously Demarcus Lawrence is a headliner, no argument there. In fact, his contract dispute, which as I write here is now so contentious that Dallas must consider eventually turning the page, with acquisitions of Robert Quinn and Ezekiel, Ziggy, Anza and the option to rescind the franchise tag on Lawrence, casts it all over most everything the Cowboys are trying to do. The goal that I always have in these situations is let's make it a win-win, Garrett said. We want you to make more money. The Joneses want you to make more money. But having said that, we want to be part of a team that can compete for a championship. And in doing that, you have to have discipline under the salary cap, but David Irving talk. I find it embarrassing that Garrett is being lured into responding to the retired Irving's accusations that grotesquely twist the words the coach surely delivered to the player about throwing away a career due to drug suspensions. Something so important to you to break those rules, that prevents you from playing, you're making a decision about what you value most, Garrett explained patiently to the media, trying to make it clear that he obviously didn't, advise, the player to, quit and smoke all the weed you want, as David claims. I was just trying to indicate to him if you want to play in the NFL these are the rules, these are the parameters you have to follow. Hopefully he understands that, I can tell you that David Irving, clever in his way, fully understands that. But wanted to clown on authority one last time as he puts behind him a job he doesn't not love. Randy Gregory talk. Gregory has been suspended for the fourth time in his Cowboys career. The real story here is the behind-the-scenes attempts to convince the NFL Commissioner's Office that Gregory's latest violation was a slight stumble and not a precipitous fall, and that he's still in line to serve as a majestic success story as the league works to come out of the dark ages on the subject of drug use and emotional struggles. The Cowboys want him back, of course. Gregory has six sacks and forced two fumbles in 14 games last season, and can be an even more impactful player than that. But previous to 2018, he missed 30 of 32 games over the previous two seasons with suspensions. His story at present, sad as it is, is that Dallas cannot count on him. When you have a player like that who hasn't been as available for you as you want him to be, you have to make sure you have other players who can be available, Garrett said. We've been very clear on that, as an organization that we can't necessarily count on him, because of his history. As an organization, we've got to make sure we have a plan in place. We can't assume he's going to be available to us. We have to make sure we have players who can be impactful for us at his position, and now we're talking. Irving is not a football player. Lawrence is not signed. Gregory is not cleared. Little wonder, then, that in a moment of frankness, Cowboys COO Stephen Jones offers a hint as to what his roster desire is. I would still categorize defensive line as our number one need, Jones said. Tackles Kerry Hyder and Christian Covington have been signed in free agency. Malliot Collins, Tyrone Crawford, Antoine Woods, Taco Charlton, Durance Armstrong. There are helpful players in this position group. But the trade pursuit of Miami defensive end Quinn is real. The examination of answer should be. This NFL draft, in which the Cowboys don't have a first-round pick due to the Amari Cooper swap, is deeper than it's been in many years, Jones said, offering another hint. So let's keep our eye on the ball here. There are negotiations that need to continue. There are prayers that need to be answers. And there are goodbyes that need to be said. But most of all, there are defensive linemen who need to be acquired.